At the end of this tutorial, you should be able to discuss Karyo Control installation options, install the Software Appliance Edition, and access the Karyo Control Web Administration Interface. Karyo Control is available as a software, virtual, or hardware appliance. The Karyo Control software appliance is a highly customized, bare bones, Linux based operating system which is optimized specifically for the Karyo Control software. It is distributed as an ISO image file which can be burned onto a CD ROM for installation onto most standard types of computer hardware. In comparison to the traditional Windows-based installation of Karyo Control, the software appliance yields many benefits. For example, having a consistent operating environment for the application it's designed around allows for more rapid feature development and fewer technical issues. A minimal operating system also consumes fewer resources, allowing the software application to run faster and more efficiently. The operating system is also typically closed or proprietary, leaving it less susceptible to attacks or vulnerabilities. With a software appliance, the operating system becomes an abstract layer, requiring little or no administration, so the overall management of the software application becomes much easier. To begin the process of the software appliance installation, locate the download link from the Karyo website. Once you've downloaded the ISO file, you'll need to burn the image onto a CD. In this example, we'll use Disk Utility for the Mac operating system. Locate your downloaded Karyo Control image file, then drag it into the Disk Utility application. To begin the burning process, select the image file from the menu on the left pane. Click the Burn button. Now that you've created the installation CD, you can insert the CD into the computer you've designated for Karyo Control. Make sure the computer is configured to boot from the CD-ROM drive. Note that this is the only time you'll actually need the CD-ROM drive in the computer, so you may consider physically removing the drive after the installation. When the computer boots from the CD, you should see the control installer beginning the boot process. Select your preferred language. Remember that Karyo Control installs its own proprietary operating system, which means that it will delete anything currently installed on the local hard drive. You'll need to enter the numbers 135 to acknowledge this. Once the installation is complete, remove the CD-ROM and hit the Enter key to reboot. The first time the operating system boots, you'll be prompted to answer a few questions, starting with the configuration of your local network interface. You may not be able to easily identify which interface belongs to your local network, which is okay, because we can correct this later. Choose an interface and hit Enter. By default, Control will select an IP address for the local network interface. However, you may change this to match your preferred subnet. Once the initial setup is complete, you may be able to log into the web administration using the provided link. However, your management computer may not be able to reach the IP address you assign to the local network interface. In this case, we can access a special management interface by hitting the Enter key. From this interface, we can enable remote administration, change TCP IP settings, restart the firewall, or perform a factory reset. Let's go ahead and open the network configuration. Notice that every other interface is configured for DHCP. If you've connected one of the interfaces to your existing network with a functioning DHCP server, you should notice a live IP address assigned to the firewall. If your management computer is on this network, we can connect to the web administration using this IP address. Back in the main screen, choose the Remote Administration option and hit Enter. This will create a traffic policy rule to allow access to the web administration from any location. This is necessary if we're going to access the web administration on one of the DHCP assigned addresses. 
Hit the F8 key to verify that you want to modify the policy to allow remote administration. To begin the initial configuration, open your web browser and point to the IP address of the Karyo control system. In our example, we're connecting to an interface that's configured for DHCP, which was assigned an address of 172.16.63.129. Note that the full connection string in the URL requires HTTPS and uses port 4081. Click through the basic parameters of the setup, which include time zone and language settings. If the firewall has a live connection to the internet, you may choose to register the product. Otherwise, choose to skip the registration. You can register the product later once you've configured the firewall with internet connectivity. Configure your admin password and click Finish. You're now ready to start configuring the firewall.